Making their way to the blue corner, Chris Hill. I want to know who motherfucking represent me here tonight. Hold on, hold on. Good evening, fight fans, and welcome to Cage Steel 23, coming from the Fly DSA Arena here in Sheffield. Next up, we've got Chris Hill versus Thor Thorinson. I'm Wayne McKenna, and joining me at Cage Side, Harry Strutt. Hi, Wayne. Yeah, we've got another good title here. Oh, but Chris Hill managed to land one on Thor. 
falls the uh, double champ. Can they capitalise? We've got a title on the line tonight. This is for the Cage Steel Amateur MMA 80 kilogram title. Yeah, the super welterweight. Uh, <laughs> so we've never seen Thor being hit like that, to be honest. He's never gone down. He's usually quite a controlling fighter. He's, uh, he's very quite pressuring with his movements. We've seen him previously, uh, well, obviously he's beat Johnny Brocklesby and uh, Matt Hudson. Uh, both times it was his wrestling and constant cage control that actually got him the victory. Um, with Chris Hill. Chris Hill actually beat Dan Tempest, um, who's just on, and Ryan Craner, who's just won the title. Some tough guys. Uh, yeah, so these are, these are some well-matched guys. They were uh, absolute beasts. Chris Hill in the grey shorts on top, uh, fighting out of Asylum Valley Tudo AVT, and Thor Thjonsson um, in the white shorts at the bottom, fighting out of Reykjavik MMA. We've seen a few of their guys on the card tonight. Always very, very well talented. Yeah, the tough guys, definitely. This fight's brought to you by Fish Bits. Cage Steel, 23. Chris Hill now will be looking to land another good strike. Needs to be careful that he doesn't rush in. If you've just joined us on our Cage Steel pay-per-view, thanks for subscribing. Yeah, this is how um, Thor, with that pressure, he seems to uh, strike, get you drawn in, especially against um, Matt Hudson when he fought him. He, uh, he draw the fighter in and then just close the distance and then just pressure against the fence, just keep grinding away until he got the win. Another good right hand, close the distance like we said. Knee strike from Thronson. Good takedown. Yeah, nice uh, spiral takedown there. Walking the body. Good position, he needs to be careful. Chris Hill taking some big shots. He's giving up his back. But Thor's, uh, Thor's got the hooks in and he's flattening him out on the ground. Left hand across the jaw. There's still time to work. 10 seconds. There we go, a bit of a flash and we're back on. I don't think it'll make much difference if I'm honest, we, uh, we still maintain the position. Um, but yeah, a very strong finish there from Thor. Chris Hill obviously took a bit of punishment at the end of the round, but he managed to land that big shot um, yeah. at the start of the round, so it's still all to play for, I think. Yeah, excellently, excellent, even, uh, evenly matched fight there. <laughs> Fights brought to you by our promoter, our cage steel promoter, Dominic Gibbs, and the matchmaker, Danny Mitchell. Your referee, Nico Joker, keeping a close eye on the action. Obviously, with uh, Thor having this reputation of his, um, his pressure in nature, how would you approach that if you're coming into the ring? Well, he got shook in the first instance there. He got tagged by Hill. So you think that's the method, just throw? It worked, it worked. He's certainly livened things up. He's certainly livened things up. He's opened up the competition. Here we are, round number two. There's another right hand, but he's pressured Hill against the fence. Oh, narrowly missing with the knee. He's right. Yeah, Hill, Hill's uh, punches have been closed down. Good Still body got... shots, but he's put his head out. There's an opportunity for a knee. I was going to just drag him forward down. He's got arm in guillotine. That's in nice and tight. Some real torque being applied to the neck of Hill there. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to finish it with the arm in, um, but it means he's still got quite a control in nature. You can see Hill looking to, uh, to try and drag the legs away from the fence. Chris Hill picks him up, slams him down. Great show of strength. Yeah, he's landed in half guard. 
It'd be difficult for him to get guillotined from there, but um, he still needs to clear the head and he can start standing up, moving to posture. I'll start trying to move to side control. The head's out. He's in a good, real good position. Very good position. We've never seen Thor being uh, tested like this, to be honest. He needs to move the hands off his back, so Thor's trying to pull him down now to avoid strikes. So Chris Hill needs to, uh, to open them arms up so he can posture up and start raining some shots like that. Wow. Now he's turning to his side. Yeah, he's turning onto his side. He'll be, uh, he'll be looking to escape. It looks if like there's head and arm getting locked up. I don't know if he's got it incorrectly. But he's got the head and arm. He's trying to turn the angle. Chris Hills from a good submission, Jim AVT. He's got the head and arm. Uh, no, I don't think he's got it, but he's given up the position as well now. Very unfortunate, but if you don't go for it, you never know, dear. Now Thor's managed to take top position. He's on mount, and now it's his turn to have a go. Wow, what a reversal. Yeah, exactly that. Chris Hill went from a massive uh, game-changing um, winning position to being at the bottom of uh, an angry Icelandic man. <laughs> it's nowhere you want to be. It's nowhere you want to be. He's managed to crush the arm under him as well. He's, uh, Chris Hill's got the whizzer, but he needs to turn out. He needs to be very careful, but Thor's looking to put the uh, the hook, take the back. He's got the hooks in now. He'll be looking to stretch him out, but in the meantime, he's happy just plunging away. I think Nico Joker now is just mentioned him to watch the strikes at the back of the head. But he's got the arm under the chin. He's got the arm under the chin. This could be it. Oh, end of the round. Wow. Saved by the bell, because uh, that was deep. Here's some duty. What a well-matched fight. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But we've uh, we've seen it both sides of the coin now. Like I say, that was uh, the closest we've seen to the submission, I believe. He, um, he had the choking deep. Um, he was literally saved by the bell. Yeah, great way he did it. Softening up with some of the punches to the head. Arm slipped straight under the chin. So now, obviously, I think, unofficially, the uh, the first round, I'd say it's probably gone to Chris Hill. Second round, close again, probably gone to Thor. Yeah, this is, I, uh, I think very this is getting a bit tasty. I think first round and second round, it's, it's both uh, arguable. We'd have to see the scorecards. This is it, this is the final round of the final uh, bout of the amateur card. Again, this is for the super welterweight title. Oh. Chris Hill comes out swinging, which is what we wanted. Both fighters. Some yeah, Thor's intentions are quite clear to, uh, to throw the shot and then close the distance. But Chris Hill's an experienced guy. He's beat other experienced guys. He uh, isn't going to be pressured like that. As you can see now, he's turned. Uh, uh, but he's left his head out. He's turned. This is how he got the takedown previously, where he picked him up and dumped him down. These guys haven't got time to rest. He's going to try to pick him up again. He's locking both arms behind his legs. Yeah, we're going to see brute strength lifting Thor. We did it in the first time. You have to think now in the third round, these guys are going to be tired as well. And... Um, Waiting for the opportunity.
super welterweight amateur champion, Chris Hill. And please, a huge round of applause for an outstanding opponent in Fogramir for Arison.